companies, one of which was Earth-directed. It is immediately clear how much larger and faster the July 23rd CME was as it blasted towards Stereo A. NASA's fleet of heliophysics spacecraft watching the sun from all sides improves our understanding and enables predictions of these solar outbursts. It's tough to keep a secret. Hello world, surprising but true, every day on average. Record snowfall, killer tornadoes, devastating floods, there's no doubt about it. The weather in the USA has been positively wild. But why? Something unexpected is happening on the sun. Like an unruly teenager took advantage of its newfound freedom, and the results were even more disastrous. With global repercussions for climate and weather, what will happen next? Wild weather on Earth and other planets. So guess what? Our Earth has a fever. I am comfortable in saying no one knows for sure what the sun will do next. Not good for you or the Earth. Here are some other possible symptoms of planetary fever. Shrinking glaciers. Shifting plant and animal ranges. Sea level rise. More intense heat waves. Stronger hurricanes. It's tough to keep a secret. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. All right, this is a Thor News warning. Yes, the stereo cameras are going down. But that's good news. Dark matter. That's what took them down. Dark matter. Some of the mystery sources could be clouds of dark matter, something that's never been seen before. Dark matter. And Hello, everyone. I'm just chilling here, working with the dark matter team as the new head of NASA's PR department. I thought I would tell you that. Earth Science News. Yeah, I know. Weather on Earth. An increased fuel consumption. I'm going to tell them about the climate change. Yes, the stereo cameras are going down. Yes, the stereo cameras are going down. I know, I know. No, all right, all right. Stick to the script. Okay, I'll read. What do I got to read now? You might suppose that everything about solar flares would be known. Far from it. Last week, researchers announced that solar flares have been keeping a secret. And it's a big one. What you're about to hear might make you feel an uncontrollable urge to dash outside. We've just learned that some flares are many times stronger than previously thought, producing an extra surge of extreme ultraviolet radiation. Heralds of great energy and violence. The extra energy has a big effect on Earth. Extreme ultraviolet wavelengths are particularly good at heating and ionizing Earth's upper atmosphere. SDO was able to make the discovery because of its unique ability to monitor the sun's extreme UV output in high resolution, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. With that kind of scrutiny, it's tough to keep a secret. With that kind of scrutiny, it's tough to keep a secret. Each condition has its own distinct effects on weather. This is a very strange place. But rather an embarrassment of riches. Then they will have a new job. Ambassador. And the brainwaves of a young woman in love. The message is, expect the unexpected. Experiencing any of these symptoms? It's time to seek attention right away. Remember, the planet you save may be your own. A seething nest of tangled magnetism more than 15 times wider than Earth itself. On July 12th, the sunspot's magnetic field erupted, producing an X-class solar flare and hurling a billion tons of electrified plasma toward our planet. NASA's twin stereo probes and the European Space Agency's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory monitored the CME as it billowed away from the sun. Researchers have been analyzing the data ever since, and they have concluded that the storm was one of the strongest in recorded history. The storm tore through Earth orbit, but fortunately, Earth wasn't there. If it had hit Earth, we would still be picking up the pieces. Multi-ton transformers fried by such a storm could take years to repair and impact national security. Without NASA's stereo probes, we might never have known the severity of the 2012 superstorm. This shows the value of having space weather buoys located all around the sun. It also highlights the potency of the sun even during so-called quiet times. Clearly, even a weak solar cycle can produce a very strong storm. We need to be prepared. Expect the unexpected indeed. Dedication. America. Freedom. Freedom. French fries. Nope. Um, so yeah, the cameras are broken, or they're gonna break, or we're gonna shut them off. They don't break, because they got hot, but just crap. Hi folks, I'm Joe German, the Stereo Project Scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. Stereo, or the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, is a NASA mission consisting of two spacecraft orbiting the sun in orbits just inside and outside the Earth's with the objective of learning more about solar activity and how it propagates through the heliosphere, 
Today we're talking about uh, what's going on with the stereo mission over the next year and a half or so. That includes both the period of superior conjunction when the spacecraft are on the other side of the sun from the Earth, and also a longer period on either side of that when the high gain antenna will have to be off pointed from its normal pointing towards the Earth because of a thermal problem. During those weeks of superior conjunction for each spacecraft, the noise level of getting their signals back will be too high simply because the antenna here on Earth will be looking at the sun as well as at the spacecraft. During that period, we won't be able to communicate with the spacecraft, and after about three days, there's a timer on the spacecraft that will go off and put it in a safe mode. It will also turn off the power to the instrument. And that's a period of about 15 weeks on the ahead spacecraft and nine weeks on the behind spacecraft. Fortunately, those periods don't overlap. The largest solar flare ever recorded happened on November 4th, 2003. It was so powerful that it overloaded the sensors measuring it, but later calculations put it at an X45. Flares are classified according to their strength. The smallest ones are B-class, followed by C, M, and X, the largest. An X45 flare is a very powerful flare. This just in. It sounds romantic, but this is hard science. Newsflash, the metamorphosis has begun. Honest, integrity, and we are Fukushima. No, I didn't mean to mention Fukushima. It's like a climate Possibly change. Fukushima. signaling a climate shift change. in weather all around our planet, linking weather and climate more closely than simple geography would suggest. The sun unleashed an incredibly powerful coronal mass ejection, or CME. A CME is a huge cloud of plasma that bursts out of the sun's atmosphere and is held together with magnetic fields. An average CME travels at about 1 million miles per hour and weighs around 2 trillion tons. The sun unleashed a perfect storm of plasma. Thanks to NASA's far-ranging heliophysics fleet, we have an excellent picture of the event. The incredibly high-resolution view of the Sun, provided by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO, revealed the beginning of the eruption in several different wavelengths of ultraviolet light. NASA's twin stereo spacecraft, orbiting the Sun ahead and behind Earth, gave a similar view from alternate perspectives. The stereo satellites also carry coronagraphs, which block the bright solar disk to make the fainter extended solar atmosphere, or corona, visible. As a result, they were able to image the actual CME as it left the Sun. The CME headed in the direction of the Stereo A spacecraft at an astonishing 6.7 million miles an hour. All of these data allow computer models to reconstruct the full shape and expansion of the CME. Gold, dark matter. Dark matter. Dark matter. And therein lies the mystery. It's a puzzle. Embarrassment of riches. I'm supposed to let you know that the cameras that watch the sun, we may be losing the stereo head camera and the stereo behind camera that watch the sun and watch Earth and watch the planet. For a year or so, the uh, stereo head and behind cameras, which have mul multiple functions, are going down to be taken offline. Bye bye. Dark matter. And a smooth move. With that kind of scrutiny, it's tough to keep a secret. Some of the mystery sources could be clouds of dark matter, something that's never been seen before. Dark matter, an embarrassment of riches, gold, dark matter. It's tough to keep a secret, an embarrassment of riches, to researchers waiting below, to study how climate change is affecting gold, dark matter. It's tough to keep a secret. The main event is preceded by a few smaller CMEs, one of which was Earth-directed. It is immediately clear how much larger and faster the July 23rd CME was as it blasted towards Stereo A. NASA's fleet of heliophysics spacecraft watching the sun from all sides improves our understanding and enables predictions of these solar outbursts. It's tough to keep a secret. Hello world, surprising but true. Every day on average, record snowfall, killer tornadoes, devastating floods, there's no doubt about it. The weather in the USA has been positively wild. But why? Something unexpected is happening on the sun. Like an unruly teenager took advantage of its newfound freedom, and the results were even more disastrous. With global repercussions for climate and weather, what will happen next? Wild weather on Earth and other planets. So guess what? Our Earth has a fever. 
I am comfortable in saying no one knows for sure what the sun will do next. Not good for you or the Earth. Here are some other possible symptoms of planetary fever, shrinking glaciers, shifting plant and animal ranges, sea level rise, more intense heat waves, stronger hurricanes,